Bring it on, Mr. Heart. Well, not the turn I would have preferred to draw the Nightmare on, but okay, sure. Do I Nightmare the Deflect? Do I just let Nightmare go to the discard pile? I'm not sure what to do here. Nightmare Shiv is something I was not not thinking about. It is an option. Does a little bit of damage. Certainly we're leading in with a dash here, right? There's no way I'm not playing dash. There's no way I'm not playing dash. I don't think I was nightmaring the dash. Certainly hope I wasn't nightmaring the dash. Nightmare to discard, you think, Chrono. And then play Storm of Steel for the extra proc? Okay. I'm done for that. So we got plus two strength out of that. Our turn two is looking pretty crap. Neutralize is good, though. Neutralize is very good. That'll turn this from 4 times 15 into, like, 2 times 15. I don't think this is where we want to use our Ghost in a Jar. Because it'll only reduce damage by, like, 15. We play Dash, we play Neutralize, we see what the uh, numbers look like. Yeah, 2 times 15. So Riddle with Holes gives us another Shuriken proc, or we can get the poison started here. By playing Corpse Explosion. Well, we're playing Fumes either way. I wonder if I was meant to play Dash at all. Miss out on Aura Calcum this way. This has got to be better, right? Plus one strength has got to be better than six damage per turn? Wait. No, that can't be true, right? <laughs> Plus one strength is definitely not better than six damage per turn, is it? Six damage per turn is better than one strength, because we're not attacking six times a turn. All right. Good talk. Ow. My face! Yeah, I'd say this is probably our Ghost in Jar, huh? Given that this is what we drew? Fair enough. Blur, Fumes, Burn, I'll take one. Otherwise I'm taking one either way anyway? Alright. Taking one is fine. Okay, there's a well laid plans. We get to Crippling Cloud just in time. I think I actually want to hold on to the uh, hold on to the cloud in the whale so that I have the ability to remove all the artifact next turn. And if it's a multi attack turn, that'll save my life. If it's not a multi attack turn, it might be bad that I did that though. That's actually a tough call, whether I play this or not. If you hold it. Burns go before Alor Calcum? I remember I remember that Aura Calcum between Aura Calcum, Thread Needle, and Metallicize, Burn Burn goes before some of those and after some of the other ones, and I can never keep it straight in my head which one is which. Hilariously. Okay, the answer is that we are upset we didn't play this last turn. We would really like to uh, debilitate him. So I might need to play the Piercing Whale. Piercing Whale is what keeps me alive next turn, though. Oh, oh actually, this works out fine, because it will weaken him. We'll block the poison with the artifact, but not the weaken. Beautiful. So I can do this. 28 much more manageable here. This is blocked by Piercing Whale. That's well weakened, by the way. That's terrifying. 
footwork being on the bottom was a little uncomfortable. So, one, two... I'd have meant to play choke there. Nobody cares about choke. Catalyst was also at the bottom of the deck, which is pretty unfortunate. I'm not sure whether I want to play the Crippling Cloud or the Predator. Having weak down for next turn is pretty important, huh? If I play Crippling Cloud, I have an extra energy next turn. Alright. Well, that settles it with the Art of War. And I definitely appreciate the weekend on this turn. Certainly that. Okay, that's as much block as I'm generating, which is a bit uncomfortable. I think rather than waiting for Nightmare, we should probably just play this so that we're doing 90 damage per turn. I can also play the Corpse Explosion so we're doing 100 damage per turn. And then it's just a question of how many more turns can we survive. And the answer might be none. None more turns? The answer might be none more turns. I think I need to Predator. Because next turn we're facing a multi-attack that's going to be 7 times 15. And if I don't draw this Piercing Whale, we are in deep, 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 deep trouble. Choke definitely feels like it needs something. In terms of love. Small numerical buff would be fine. How does the heart's 300 a turn work with poison? Um, poison is affected by the cap. The damage applies at the start of the heart's turn. So, relatively normally, I guess is how I would say. Am I willing to take two damage to play the skewer? Absolutely not. We are very low on health here. Now that Beat of Death is at two. We did draw Piercing Whale. Okay, I'm not dead. Yet. Emphasis on yet. Do I want to nightmare that? That might actually be necessary to survive the fight long enough. I think if I just nightmare piercing whale, we're okay here, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think this has got to be nightmare on piercing whale. Give that a try. Zero times fifteen. Keep the good stuff. Okay, so we have Pendib ready. Brutal with holes is fifty, skewer is more than fifty. We just do a bunch of damage, hold on to all the block cards. And we should be okay? Maybe? Maybe. What's our answer to the big attack? I am drawing a dash plus next turn. Maybe I need the extra energy next turn off Art of War that I don't want to play an attack at all? I guess we have to do math now on uh, how many more turns the heart survives. At present, heart will survive four turns, so I, I do need to survive both attacks. And then we definitely win if I survive both attacks. Is there any way for me to shorten that timer to three turns? Skewer does 18 times four, which is 76 damage. I can definitely shorten the timer by one turn if I play this. Okay. Eat these cards. Okay, it was unfortunately the big attack first. But I think we have enough block that we're surviving. Though just barely. Is that actually true? Let's see, deflect dash dash is 5 plus 14 plus 14. 
2833 block. 33 plus 16 is 49. Piercing Whale just keeps us alive. Just keeps us alive. Assuming my math is correct here. Well, I mean, it either does or it doesn't, right? I guess it could... Could depend on Dagger Throw. Yeah, I was doing Beat of Death math there. Let's double check here. So again, Beat of Death is currently at 2, so this is 14 block, 5 block, 14 block, which is... Again, 33. This block's for 4, is 37 block. 37 plus 16 is... 53. So we live on 1. And the heart dies? I mean, alright, sure. I'll, I'll take a one hit point victory, if that is if that is indeed the math there. I just triple check one last time <laughs> to make sure that that's correct. 14, 14, 5, 33, 37. 37 plus 7 plus 6 is indeed 13. Yes, that is, that is indeed correct, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alrighty then. Don't draw burn and no wound and no block. Okay, good. We are we are alive. On one. Gotta play a block card now. Whew, good stuff. Take that, you big jerk. Thanks for the win, hee hee. GG, man. <laughs> that was a pretty clutch win. Just scraping by the thinnest margin of victory. Uh, turns out... Oh, we had Happy Flower that turn. Should have thought about that. The, the last turn of surviving. I deliberately chose not to Art of War. Cheers, Bop. Appreciate that, uh... The celebratory bits. Good stuff. Catalyst was definitely played at the right time there. God. My whole my head is just thinking like, man, if we'd taken that Wraith form after Act 1, this whole thing would have been so much easier. <laughs> Stupid Wraith form. GG. Nightmare did its thing. It was fine. <laughs>